The data grid or table control is very powerful once you get familiar with how it works. The default table has all the options shown, but let's start with a simpler version. As you can see, columns are separated by commas and each row is a new line. You can also paste data from a spreadsheet program like Excel or from a comma or tab separated file. To show a sort arrow in the header, add a V or caret symbol just before the comma. Each column can have one, both, or none. As shown in the default table, you can also create radio and checkboxes inside tables with parentheses or brackets. The last thing you can do with the data grid is specify column widths. This is also shown in the default table. By adding an extra row at the bottom in curly brackets, you can specify widths with relative or percentage-based numbers. Let's say we want the first column to be twice as wide as the second and the third column to be as small as possible. You can learn more in our documentation. You can also specify alignment using the letters R, L, and C for right, left, and center. This can be useful for aligning numbers and checkboxes, for example. 